IntelliJ IDEA 2018.2 has lots of nice improvements to help us to work with version control systems like Git. Quite a few of these features are in the VCS log window. Now it's possible to open multiple log tabs and we can have different filters applied to each of these tabs. You might also have noticed another new feature here. In the branches filter, it's possible to show all your favorite branches and no others. This can help to simplify the view. Also new is the ability to preview the differences that make up a commit by clicking on this button. Now you can see exactly how each file was changed in this revision. Of course, you can turn this off if you don't need it. Tags are shown in this log view with a gray label. Now in IntelliJ IDEA 2018.2, you can delete tags from the log view by right-clicking on them, navigating to the tag name in the menu and selecting Delete. The tag can also be deleted on the remote if it's there, or you can restore the tag if you need to. It's now possible to view the state of the application code at any point in the history. Right-click on a revision and select Browse Repository at Revision. This will open a repository browser of the code at that point in time. You can navigate through this code as usual and view any of the files. As you know, it's possible to commit changes and push them immediately to the remote via the commit dialog. When we do this, we usually see the push commits dialog, which shows us exactly which revisions are being pushed to which remote. If our workflow is simple enough, we may not want to see this push commit dialog every time. So now in preferences, under version control, git, we can choose not to show the push dialog when we perform a commit and push. Or we could choose just to show it for protected branches like master or a release branch. If we turn this off, now when I do a commit and push via the new command alt k or control alt k keyboard shortcut, IntelliJ IDEA will simply push the changes without showing the dialog. This latest release makes it easier to understand what's happening during a merge. If we merge a branch into our current branch and we have any merge conflicts, We'll see the conflicts dialog as usual, but this has been changed, however, so the branch name is added to the yours and theirs headings, making it clearer which changes come from which branches. In addition, it's now also possible to group the files by directory, which makes it easier to manage when many files have conflicts, or to clarify which file is meant when there are multiple files with the same name in different locations. Also improved is the merge dialog itself, where you can now see the apply non-conflicting changes options. I can apply all changes that don't conflict, but in this case I'll select the non-conflicting changes from the right-hand side. These changes mean that when I click Accept Yours, I know I'm getting the version from the Dev branch. Accept Theirs would give me the updated examples branch version. Merge conflicts are also shown in a new node in the change list. The ability to group the files by module or directory also applies to these files. So now, not only can I easily see the files that have merge conflicts, but I can easily get back to the merge dialog to fix those conflicts. Also new in IntelliJ IDEA 2018.2 is the checkout dialog provides auto-completion for Git tags, making it easier to check out a revision that has been tagged. IntelliJ IDEA 2018.2 supports multiple GitHub accounts. In the version control settings, under GitHub, it's now possible to add as many GitHub accounts as you need. If you're working on a Mac with a touch bar, you may also have noticed that there's VCS functionality in the touch bar. You can update your project or commit your changes via these buttons. Recently, IntelliJ IDEA started automatically registering Git and Mercurial repositories as VCS roots if the project had a single root like this one does. IntelliJ IDEA 2018.2 extends this to register all roots in the project. So when you import a project with multiple repositories, you won't see the unregistered VCS root notification. The version control integration will just work. Thanks for watching.